So, what did we do on the previous video? We did unscrew the base plate, we removed the rotary encoder knob, afterwards we removed the top and unplugged the PCB connection and now in this video I will unscrew the switch plate from the PCB itself. There is three things that we need to know. We have different type of screws which are called two of them standoffs, plate screws and diffuser screws. I have a piece of paper for a reason so I can separate each screws where they go so I don't basically mix them up. So first I'm going to write the necessary information. We have our switch plate here, exactly two standoffs here, a little bit too tight for my taste but it wasn't hard to do. After all I want to share you the experience how it was for me. Once we remove the second one those two screws that are underneath will drop. I'm slightly pushing the PCB here, not too much pressure. Once we remove the second one I will flip the PCB as you see all of the screws are separated here. So now I will be switching to the diffuser screws. There is four of them left and right. Basically these diffuser screws are holding from the left and right at the same time being screwed into the LED strips diffuser there which is made out of plastic. You get it from the name diffuser. It's not meant to be harsh. It's meant to look elegant. You will soon see one of the diffusers coming off from the left side. This is completely normal. So four of them left and right. Very simple process. I mean if there was a manual with pictures this would be much more easier because I had to look up videos. Obviously Glorious made their own guide but for people who are lazy who don't want to watch video just a couple of pictures explaining the PCB where is where and what. That would be very easy to do. Have you guys built any custom keyboards? If you have, comment below so I can know what you have done. This was my first experience for a friend of mine. For myself, I will be building a Keychron Q1. I think it's more challenging keyboard because of the ping and hollow sound. It definitely needs modifications. There will be obviously part 3 of this video where I will talk about the stabilizers, testing them. We will swap the stock ones. Now I'm focusing on the right one. Overall it was fun experience for me. Just make sure you have enough space on your desk. Sit down. Obviously I'm standing up here to show it to you guys. Checking the camera once in a while that the autofocus is in proper mode. As you see sometimes we're losing focus. Nothing I can do with this Z6 camera is sad. It just doesn't like blacks. Have to be manually focused here to be honest. Which would make the process very much hard for me. After we done the diffuser screws. We're switching off to the plate screws. There's gonna be 8 of them. Bottom and top. Once you remove all of the screws, everything is basically loose. I will demonstrate that in the video as well. Everything is getting sorted here. I did order a special blue pad which has sections magnetic so I can stop doing this with the paper because the moment I hit the table, all of those screws will be on the floor. And that won't be fun. So there are some stuff that will arrive from Aliexpress, not sure when. Mainly for keyboard stuff. The screwdriver that I'm using is from Xiaomi. I did order the ratchet one and from Devolt, gyroscopic screwdriver I'm actually searching.
it is a really cool one it's a illness what can i say as you see this is the diffuser part that is made out of plastic one in the left one in the right notice if i want to apply pressure i'm holding the pcb from underneath I'm not sure if you can crack it, but we don't want to find that out. This PCB being hot swappable design is amazing as well. You can just swap out switches as you wish. Something I cannot do on my Corsair K95. I do want to learn the desoldering process as well. Looks fun to be honest. now carefully taking it don't do it the way i done basically opposite way so everything comes off nicely instead of having to deal with the foam the way i did like i said this was the first time me doing it On the next video, I will be talking about the stabilizers, testing them, we will be upgrading them, lubing them, doing everything by myself. We see here the bare PCB, these pads will be applied to the PCB itself. Learn something about those pads as well, that I will be sharing on the next part of this video. Took me actually one hour to figure it out. Be careful with the screws so you don't strip them. Because some of them are actually tight. I hope Glorious doesn't machine tight them if that's what they're doing. It was a difficult process. When I wanted to open the bare bone itself. Other than that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do so. If you like the video, give a like. Thank you for your support. My friend is watching each episode he's overall pleased with the entire process so this was his first custom keyboard that i built for him if you want to see something else on the channel also comment below take care of yourselves i'll see you on the next video let's go